Good morning. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's gospel, we see a very, very wealthy man who approaches Jesus Christ to ask him this question. He said, Master, what should I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus Christ told him to follow God's commandments. The young man answered back to Jesus, But dear Lord, I'm doing this already. What else should I do? And here is the question for all of us now. Why does this young man, who was following all the rules, feel like he was not worthy of the eternal life. Why? My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, let's ask ourselves, why don't we feel good all the time? Even while we are coming in the church and living a Christian life, why, would you, why do we still feel kind of empty, empty in our hearts? Like something is missing, like this young man. If we are doing everything right and everything looks okay and perfect, why don't we feel that perfect? Why are we sad? Why are we depressed? Why we have dark feelings in our heart? It looks unfair. Here is the problem. We think we are doing everything right and perfect, right? We think. But we are usually only doing everything in the fastest and easiest way possible. It's like going to the doctor and asking, what should I do to feel better? The doctor always gives us advices. And do we listen to those advices? Sometimes, but usually just for a little bit. And then we go back to the old ways. The doctor tells me all the time, Theophany, Father Theophany, lose weight. Get healthy. So I start a new program. I lose some pounds. And then the holidays come with all the sweets and the pastries around. And I said, you know what? I will start again next year. Why do I have to be on a diet now? Eating, it's so much fun during the holiday season, right? Am I going to miss this fun? And here is the answer. Our church is here for us for the fun stuff of our life. But more important, our church is here to help us with the more difficult things in our lives. Our church and today's gospel is preparing us all for those moments after the fun, for all those moments after the parties, for the moments that we'll be facing our real own problems, the problems that we have to work on, like following the doctor's advices. The young man in today's gospel had this feeling in his heart that something was not right, the feeling that he wasn't doing enough. Jesus Christ answered that he should give all of his wealth to the poor and follow him. And the young man said, no, he walked away. There's no way to do this. This was too difficult for him. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, there is always, always something in our lives, in our hearts, that is too difficult or we are too busy <clears throat> to work on, right? Things that we put aside to work on later, another day, another time, another year. And we never, we never have the strength to work on this 
And the difficult things keeps growing. All the time keeps growing until we do not know how to fix it. <clears throat> Our church is a hospital. We are here to help ourselves and each other heal our problems. The real problems that are too difficult or too big to fix by ourselves. We are here to heal those difficult big problems. Let's all work during this holiday season to do what is right, not just what is easy. Have a blessed Sunday.